if alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial f of x is equal to x square minus 3x plus 2 find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 1 by 2 alpha plus beta and 1 by 2 beta plus alpha so first we can find the values of alpha and beta by factorizing this polynomial so this polynomial can also be written as x square minus x minus 2x plus 2 by splitting this middle term from these two terms we can take x common outside this will become x minus 1 and from these two terms I can take minus 2 common outside and this will become x minus 1 now taking x minus 1 common x minus 1 into x minus 2 when we equate this factorized polynomial with 0 we can say either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 in this case x will be equal to 1 and in this case x will be equal to 2 so let alpha be 1 and let beta be 2 so we got the values of alpha and beta now we can find the sum and product of these new zeros so that we can build a polynomial the sum of zeros is equal to 1 by 2 alpha plus beta plus 1 by 2 beta plus alpha so 1 by 2 into alpha is 1 and beta is 2 so 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 2 into 2 plus 1 so this will be 1 by 2 plus 2 is 4 and 1 by 2 2s are 4 plus 1 5 by cross multiplication we will get 5 plus 4 by 20 which is 9 by 20 this is the sum of zeros now similarly we can find the product of zeros one by two alpha plus beta into one by two beta plus alpha again we will be getting these same factors one by four into one by five so product will be one by twenty so sum will be equal to nine by twenty and product is 1 by 4 into 1 by 5 which is 1 by 20 now the general form of a quadratic polynomial the general form can be written as x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros so we just have to substitute the values of sum and product and we will get x square minus 9 by 20 x plus 1 by 20 now we can multiply with 20 and divide by 20 outside so k by 20 into x square minus 9 x plus 1 and in this term uh, so here 20 will be there so we are multiplying the polynomial with 20 yeah after this step we are multiplying these three terms with 20 and outside we are dividing with 20 so this will be 20 x square minus 9 x plus 1 so k by 20 constant by 20 will be another constant so this divided by 20 can be omitted so our final answer will be k into 20 x square minus 9 x plus 1 if you have any doubts in this question feel free to discuss in the comment section thank you